In today's video, we're seeing if we can propel ourselves with a fire extinguisher. Guys, this is Grace and Kevin, and they're here helping us out create more content for you guys. And they've brought us something very fun to play with. This looks like we've got a bunch of fire extinguishers. Oh, we yeah. do. Here's the basic idea. We got a couple 10 and 15 pound CO2 fire extinguishers, and we're gonna see if they have enough force to move us. We're gonna try sitting on a swing, sitting in a rolly chair, standing on a skateboard, and then finally getting in the pool. I definitely think there's enough force. So like we said, we're gonna start with a swing today and then we're going to move on to a chair and a souped up skateboard that we've got. Yeah. I think we'll be moving and grooving today. I like it. Yeah. So we got a couple different things here. So we got the plain fire extinguisher, right? Where it comes out here. We all got our pins in here for safety. And then what you normally see is one of these. So this is a diffuser. This part screws into there, right? And then all the CO2 from the liquid gets put in here and then comes out and it doesn't have like force, right? So you can just sit here holding on to it and put out fires, they're safe. So there's not much force that way. So I wanna see, if we take this off, what's it like? Three, two, one. <laughs> well, the GoPro came off. <laughs> that had some power. So that's the true force of the fire extinguisher. It has a whole lot of force on this bad boy. Literally like rips out of my hand. And that wasn't even a full squeeze. That was literally me just like, pressing it very quickly and it just So the specs on a fire extinguisher like this is about 800 to 900 pounds per square inch coming out of there. So to compare that to a champagne bottle when you pop it is like 60 to 90 pounds per square inch. So it's like 10 times stronger <laughs> than a champagne cork. We've got this little Doogie 90 thing. diffuser, which slows it down a little bit because it's got to make a right angle turn. It's kind of fun in a controlled environment when you're ready. I remember the first time we got this bad boy out and we squeezed the handle it literally went flying and we both just looked at each other like uh -oh. oh no <laughs> so we're starting with the swing and i think grace should do it because she's the smallest do you want to volunteer as tribute yeah absolutely i, mean, I kind of volunteered you but <laughs> that's okay i'm all about a swing i love a good swing and especially if i don't have to pump my legs yeah the better all right friends we are over at the swing set the playground this is my favorite place to be beautiful i love it and we've got our fire extinguisher and we also have a towel because fire extinguishers actually get very cold when you're holding them for a long period of time It works. I go so high. I'm like Wally. That was fantastic. I really think you guys could do it and succeed. That was amazing. All right, now we got our chair. So this neat little platform was built by our friend Chris. So we just got a stable place to put the fire extinguisher. So Nate is gonna test this one out. Got the uh, head protector on. Always, and we had to build a special mechanism for this chair because we realized very quickly by trying to hold the fire extinguisher and propel ourselves backwards with the chair, <laughs> you went straight backwards in these chairs. So yeah. we had to change the where the force was coming from, which we now have a nice box that fits mm -hmm. our awesome fire extinguisher in. <laughs> I can't aim. I can't aim. <laughs> spin, spin. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Woo! Too much spinning. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. We're losing. Everywhere. We're losing GoPros. Oh no! Need to change the tire. You know, I didn't have a lot of practice time, but I do feel <laughs> there is some steering even. Like you can just be like, oh, I'm going sideways. So you what are you gonna do for your next race? Woo! I think the most important thing is that I get uh, a, an Iron Man helmet instead of a Spider-Man one. Not that Spider-Man and Iron Man, like not that one's better. I just think that Iron Man's better for racing with a fire extinguisher. I think that would make a lot of difference. I think that would make a lot of difference too. Um, would you change anything about your technique? No, it was flawless. There you have it, folks. 
So it is now Kevin's turn to try to propel himself with a fire extinguisher. I experienced a swing. That was really easy and fun. Um, considering I felt like Wally, it just felt like a lot of pressure pushing back on me and it was cold. Nate had an A1 performance on his go around. Beautiful. It was spectacular. He is a professional racer now. And now we got a long board with the fire extinguisher. So we do have a diffuser on here. So it's gonna do a direct 90 to cut down that thrust coming up by just a little bit. Got the helmet on. We're gonna give her a go. Ah! I gotta stop, I gotta stop. I can't turn, there's too much. It's too heavy on the back. This thing is so, so much weight. It's a 10 pound fire extinguisher plus all of this wood. Woo, I'm alive. I didn't fall off, it was a little shaky. Longboards, I've never longboarded before. This is the first time I'm a professional. Who needs more lessons? I don't think if we could have asked for more successful propulsion with fire extinguishers that than was awesome. all of this. This was amazing. 10 out of 10. Um, one more test, which is a little bit different, but I think is gonna be the coolest of them all. We're headed to the pool. All right, so I obviously don't have a mic on. Our mics are not waterproof. Uh, this is supposed to be where it blasts everything out. Oh, it does have this bracket, which I'll try and scoot out of the way, but I, I guess the idea is I'm gonna have to kind of hold it like this. And uh, the good news is that the water is dense enough that like it sinks, but it doesn't sink very quickly. Like this is really easy to hold up. Like, cool. It's like a scooby. I can toss it. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it can kick. All right, I'm gonna try that again, but lift my legs a little. Okay, we got a spin. I'm gonna try holding it like this and see if I can actually send myself backwards. A little. I moved. It's not fast, but I moved. All right, we have finished our fire extinguisher experiments. Yes, it was fantastic. Mm -hmm. The longboard is a little wobbly, like I felt a little uncertain, but I definitely did move, which is pretty cool. We got a rocket longboard. So if you want to see us do other things with a fire extinguisher, let us know in the comments below. Hey guys, that's it for today, but we always have cool videos, so make sure you click that subscribe button down there to check them out, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.